Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Maputnik CLI. There is always the online version of Maputnik on, under maputnik.com slash editor where you can upload a style and then download it. But there's also a local version that you can download here under releases. So you head over to releases and choose the pre-built binary for your platform and download that. And this contains both the editor and the CLI, and it's actually a local server that will that can expose your file system to the Maputnik editor. Let's make sure it is executable and rename it to Maputnik. Let's check whether that worked. Yes, we have this version installed. So we can call the Maputnik server with a file which contains the style we want to edit. So I have a git repository here that contains a style JSON. And now we want to expose that to the editor. So we make maputnik to maputnik minus minus file style.json and we tell it to watch the file for changes as well. So now it's hosting editor on port 8000 and here we have it that's our toner style now so far nothing has changed if we make a git diff we also see it saved back the style already that's why the timestamp has changed and we're going to change the background to red let's check again what happened it now saved back the file and we see okay it changed our background color now this allows us to make nice atomic commits. And I can also showcase this with Sublime. So if I go to background and change it back again to black and go over here, we see it is black. Let's make it white again and it updated. Let's change the opacity to 80% or so, and now we have an opacity. Let's edit the water. Let's make it kind of grayish. And let's give it an outline. And we see it added the necessary paint properties to the file. Now this works both ways. So I can actually go here and make edit the background here, remove the opacity property and let's save that here and it immediately updated the editor here. So now you can work however you want. You can reorder the layers here, do the things you want to do in the editor here, explore it a bit, use the inspection mode to check what you have in your vector tiles and then edit it here or even here and it will always propagate both ways and the reason for these features is that you can make that you can integrate this in git and have your styles in a git repository and that's all i wanted to show i hope you find these features useful and please give me feedback how you use Maputnik. Thank you.